Well, this pilgrimage has been from Holywell in North Wales to Shrewsbury Abbey, and the reason for that is that the Holywell is named after uh, St Winifred. It's the place, the well, where the original incident of the creation of her sainthood happened. It was a case of looking at the original route and mapping that backwards, which Richard Barrett did fantastically. Brian's pre-walked to about 99% of the route. We went a slightly different way, so we could call it places like the Quinter and some churches in Western Ring. The fewest we've had on the pilgrimage on any day is six, and the largest number is 24. So we've shared our walking with people of all ages. We've got the school in Oxon where there's 420 pupils who all crammed into their hall mm. and, and interviewed those in Bishop Sarah about mm. what pilgrimage was. St Winifred herself, after death, did a very similar journey to what Bishop Sarah has done over the last few days in that her body was disinterred from Holywell and brought here to Shrewsbury Abbey. She was betrothed to be married to a pagan king and this was not the life she wanted for herself. She wanted a life of religious freedom and prayer and uh, the king was so enraged at her refusal of his advances that she, he had her beheaded. She has been dubbed as the saint of the Me Too movement and, um, and I think that that has uh, very modern connotations for us in, in, in this life uh, at the moment. Uh, I think particularly with um, some of the challenges that people face in exercising ministry, uh, not just in this part of the world, but across the Anglican Communion, and those uh, who are followers of Jesus Christ wanting to follow a life of faith and not necessarily finding that an easy thing to do because of uh, being confronted by some of the demands of the world. I very much enjoyed the, the three longer walks that we did in, in Wales. There was a lot of going to the top of a hill and, have, and we had some days where there were very splendid views. There was a lot of peace and quiet and you could hear you know, bird song and, and uh, a lot of sheep with young lambs and you felt very close to nature. For me it's been the difference between the magnificence of, of nature and feeling part of God's bigger creation and being able to worship God through that creation. The hospitality, the welcome ecumenically has been absolutely phenomenal across this whole pilgrimage mm. Mm. And, the, and the friendships that have been formed have been incredible. It's been quite interesting having conversations with uh, with the ministers and the lay people in each of the churches and and hearing uh, about in how they're expressing their faith in in a day-to-day -day way and how they're getting involved with their communities and there was always a trade in religious relics. It was one of the reasons that actually kicked off the Protestant Reformation in medieval Europe. The monks, fearing that Winifred's bones would be lost in the chaos, hid them somewhere on site. They did such a good job that we still today don't know where she is, but it is wonderful to think that she is still with us on site and we are connected to Christ via her. The icon of St Winifred has been written by Yvonne Bell and it is showing the Holy Well at Holy Well. And um, this is a gift that I'm giving to Shrewsbury Abbey just to mark this special pilgrimage and as a reminder to people of the enormously faithful Christian life of St Winifred.